How do you take some of these um, entrepreneurial success stories of yours and be a light to shine to those there? And how does your book fit into this? Well, for me, I think uh, sharing my story like we're doing now, and I'm sure a lot of young people out there will be watching, uh, is one way. I've always said our mission, you and I, Ken, and the rest of the other seasoned uh, business leaders of our era, it is our, it's incumbent upon us mm. to mentor and to, 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 to ensure that we, 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 we build the next generation of mm, African business absolutely. leaders. If we don't, then we are not going anyway as, as, as a continent. Mm. So this is why I also wrote this book. I wrote this book because I want to share insights of what shaped me from being somebody who was working and then uh, starting my own, uh, my, own, uh, my own businesses that have done fairly well. And uh, what are the things that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to these young people? These are the things that you should attend to. Everyone wants to go into business, but uh, a lot of people have got uh, a wrong way of looking at it. Uh, they want to sit in a corner office before they've really worked. Uh, they want to drive nice cars before they've really worked. Uh, they, 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 they might not even have the financial discipline to understand that the business money is not their money yet. Mm -hmm. It is the money that belongs to... This is what, these are the insights that I've shared in this, in this book. Uh, because I want to think the next generation of our Af African uh, uh, business leaders is going to be shared by us, shaped mm -hmm. by what we say, mm -hmm. what we do, mm -hmm. and uh, what we share with them at this particular uh, time in, in, in our lives. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.